Mr. Starty, please. Uh, Gurmaika Tehian Korlian, let me begin by wishing our colleague Jennifer Whitmore a speedy recovery and look forward to welcoming her back on the bench as I read this morning uh, that she was taken to hospital and uh, wish her all from our, these benches a speedy recovery. Um, can Korlia uh, Agaza Ara, um, a rare Twitishki RTE investigates in Miu such Ufasa and Krulta to Gazandro Horul? Kapal are in Shamla, so when you talk when you take Kadis and Stacho, I guess Chasti and Grivu Lycra on Mio Suja Mio Suj a Hurishker, I guess Kahi and Gliomlan Horinadini to Fragresha, Ni Fager Link Laku, Lishan, a cruel tart a Hanak Mitch, Aaron Claire Televish, a rare, I guess Kahi, Shkrudu, Lycra, a ve, a mon, a again realtors. Minister, last night, RT investigates reported shocking abuse and cruelty at our only licensed abattoir at Shannon Site Foods Limited in Straffan, County Kildare. Now, this mistreatment it was very di distressing for a lot of people, but it included the repeated beatings of dying horses. And in one instance, Minister, a fallen horse, unable to get back on its feet, was thrust with a pitchfork into its side. The horse died hours later after its inflicted suffering. Now, these appalling incidents were filmed in the buildings used by Shannon Side Food Limited before horses are sent across to the kill room in the slaughterhouse, which is supervised by the Department of Agriculture. The Department of Agriculture has somebody on site. Professor Chris Elliott of Queen's University Belfast, he led the independent review of the British food system after the 2013 horse meat scandal, and he said it was nothing like he had seen or experienced before. Breaking all regulations on the treatment and welfare of animals, he rightly called it out as a scandal. Anyone who watched last night's documentary will have been distressed and appalled. And this country has a great love for horses. I know those with special needs in autism and the comfort they get and support from, from horses. Indeed, many people refer to them as angels with hooves and they demand respect and care. What was reported last night demands immediate action and it demands accountability, Minister. And I want to commend the journalists who brought this to the public's attention, this cruelty, this mistreatment to light. It has been uncovered that approximately 2,000 horses were slaughtered in Shannon Side Foods Limited in Kildare last year alone, with two thirds of them bred for the horse racing industry. Now the Department of Agriculture have said that they have staff on the premises during which those horses are slaughtered at this site. They also tell us that there were no welfare issues noted on the days when this mistreatment took place. And a question that so many people are asking this morning is how this mistreatment happened under the very nose of the Department of Agriculture. What is clear is that the law has been broken. And I understand that the Department, that the Gardaí, have begun an investigation on foot of the shocking findings of RT Investigates, and I welcome that. But the question must be asked whether the supervision of this site was adequate, with the cruelty and the abuse taking place literally a yard's throw away from the slaughterhouse in which the department official was sitting in and supervising. People are asking how could it be that this building just literally yards away didn't fall under the remit of the Department of Agriculture. What was also raised was the potential for compromise of the human food change with evidence of identity falsification and with one animal welfare officer inserting false identification microchips into the horses. So can I ask you a couple of questions? Will you ensure that the full weight of the law is brought down on those responsibility for the cruelty and mistreatment that was reported last night? Well, what are you going to do to enhance supervision to ensure that this never happens again? And have you been in contact with European counterparts regarding the possible contamination of human food chain as a result of the misidentification and Deputy. laundering of Irish horses? Minister McGrath. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Ciarán Corlin. Thank you, Deputy uh, Doherty. And can I join with you in wishing our colleague, uh, Deputy Jennifer Whit Whitmore, all the best. I didn't realise that she had taken ill, but uh, all of our thoughts are, are with her uh, today. And can I also briefly, Ciarán Corlin, just congratulate the fantastic 4x4 four four, uh, 100 um, women's relay team uh, in the European Championships. A phenomenal success winning the silver medal. Uh, Sophie Becker, Phil Healy, Rashida Adelecki and uh, Charlene Maldsley 
we're all so proud of them. Two gold medals, two silver medals now, a phenomenal haul. And just to hear the young kids on the radio this morning, they will undoubtedly be inspired by um, the uh, incredible success. We're all so, so proud of them. Uh, Deputy, thank you for raising the RT Investigates programme uh, on prime time last night, which I did have an opportunity uh, to watch. And uh, like you, uh, I was sickened and appalled uh, by what I saw. Uh, the mistreatment of uh, beautiful animals and I think it's important to say that there's no question that the treatment that we witnessed last night is not representative of uh, the wider equine industry and is not representative of uh, the love and the care uh, that owners of horses display every single day uh, for their animals around this country. And I know that uh, all of those people who, uh, who love their animals, who love their horses and care for them deeply uh, will have been appalled and shocked by uh, what we witnessed uh, last night. Uh, I do want to join with you in acknowledging uh, the tremendous work of Conor Ryan, a fantastic investigative journalist uh, with RTE and the whole team at the Primetime Investigates. Uh, it is an example of public service at its best and uh, we owe them a debt of gratitude for the work uh, that they have done. Uh, there has been contact in recent weeks between uh, RTE and the Department of Agriculture, uh, Food and the Marine. So the department uh, initiated an investigation uh, into this issue uh, some weeks ago and that work is ongoing uh, at this point uh, in time. Uh, you asked a, a specific question about the role of the Department of Agriculture inspectors. Uh, it would appear at this point that the um, the appalling mistreatment that we witnessed on, on our television screens was happening in, in a holding building, uh, not in the slaughterhouse itself, uh, which is a regulated area and where the department inspector uh, would have been present. But all of that now is the subject of uh, a thorough investigation from uh, the Department of uh, Agriculture and that work uh, is underway. Uh, the government unreservedly condemns uh, the scenes that we witnessed and uh, the full force of the law uh, will be applied uh, where breaches uh, are proven uh, in the court of law and we need to allow that process now uh, to take its course uh, and not to say anything that would be preju prejudicial uh, to those investigations and um, clearly uh, and Garda Shia Khan are very much aware uh, of uh, what has happened here uh, and are taking the appropriate uh, action as well. Um, there were a number of wider issues that came to the fore in the program uh, in the context of traceability, uh, the use and uh, misuse of microchips and indeed uh, fake passporting uh, in respect of, of horses and that does raise uh, concerns about public health uh, as well as animal welfare. Uh, if uh, animals ended up in uh, the European Union food chain uh, that shouldn't have um, because of chemicals that had been injected into them uh, previously, then that is a cause of real concern. And it was evident last night that the European Commission uh, are very actively working uh, on this issue. Uh, there is engagement between the Department of Agriculture uh, and the European Commission, uh, and there is full cooperation uh, by all of the relevant national authorities uh, with the work that is underway at a European level. Uh, our priority priority here is to protect animal welfare but also to protect public health and serious concerns arise in respect of both um, following the scenes that we witnessed last night. Thank you Minister. Yeah, thank you Minister. Um, looking I agree, I think anybody who watched that programme last night couldn't be but shocked and appalled um, and sickened to their core at the images, the distressing images that were presented in that RTE Investigates programme. And this morning, I'm trying to struggle with to find out just some, some information, Minister, and you maybe can shed some light on it. Is this abattoir, it's our only licensed abattoir in the state, is this still operating? Is this, is this business as usual? Is this company still operating this abattoir this week? Will there be slaughtering of animals? Does the Department of Agriculture still only have supervision on the slaughterhouse, yet the building just a couple of yards away where the cruelty was happening, where the images were shown to us last night that they don't have oversight in it because it's technically not an official part of the building. So uh, we have to obviously let the Gardaí uh, conduct their investigation, but there is a responsibility in us to ensure that practices such as animal welfare officers being, being, being shown to us all, inserting false identification microchips into horses, the beating and, and the stabbing with a pitchfork of a dying horse, the whipping 
of horses. Thank you, it is email. absolutely intolerable. So I, I, I would like to ask you, <coughs> with all of the other issues that have to be dealt with, the passports, the identification, yeah. Thank you, Deputy is the this business still going to continue? Is the government still happy for the business to continue as it is? And do we have now oversight of all buildings on that yard? Thank you. Uh, thanks very much, Deputy. So there is a full investigation uh, underway. It has been underway for uh, a number of weeks. Uh, this uh, is a regulated environment, the abattoir, uh, where um, the slaughtering was taking place. And just to be clear, the animal welfare rules apply everywhere. They apply in the holding area as well, uh, even if that is not uh, the area where the inspection was actually taking place, uh, which is uh, in, in the slaughterhouse itself. But in the holding area, the, the same animal welfare rules apply. And what we saw on our television screens um, exposed by RT, Prime Time Investigates, uh, was apparent. Uh, to anyone uh, who has any shred of decency uh, and any love of animals uh, would have been appalled by it. Uh, and that is why the full force of the law will be applied here. This investigation needs to be allowed uh, to take its course uh, and the department now are um, on this in every respect that we would expect them to be, including with direct engagement, supervision and regulation uh, of this particular commercial uh, premises.